What's going on there, guys? Good afternoon. Uh, good morning to some still out here on the West Coast. Not quite noon here on this uh, Thursday. Actually, it's Friday, November 26, 2021, 1124 a.m. California time and the latest quake, a 5.3 earthquake. Uh, let's see exactly where that's at over here on this side of the world, right around the Fiji Islands area. Pretty shallow earthquake striking this little bend here just around the Tonga, Fiji area. Quite a bit of movement, uh, earthquake activity ramping up around the Yellowstone area overnight. Look at this uh, map here, it's an overview of the Yellowstone region. Got the Yellowstone caldera. Little intense earthquake swarm early this morning, putting out quite a bit of earthquake activity. You can see this cluster of quakes uh, it has since calmed down within the last two or three hours, but uh, for it looks like for about two hours or so, there was some pretty intense earthquake activity kicking up there at Yellowstone National Park. Um, every single one of these little spikes here, and I'm sure there's a bunch in here. I'm guessing probably 50 to 60 or more earthquakes <clears throat> that struck within this little time period. Uh, so far, the USGS does not have it listed on their map yet. Let's go ahead and check this out. This is 2.5 and above. Most of those earthquakes there are probably below the 2.5 threshold, but uh, as you can see, nothing being reported from the USGS there at Yellowstone National Park. Uh, this earthquake activity just occurring a few hours ago in the northwest corner of the Yellowstone Caldera. That's gonna be this uh, black line here in a kind of a cir circular passion, uh, fashion. <laughs> passion, there we go. Friday, it's Friday. I think it's a hangover turkey effect there uh, but yeah look at that quite a bit of movement here confined mostly to the northwest corner of the park showing up uh looks like a looks like the epicenter is right around the mary lake area Madison river also picking it up over here to the northwest but not quite as intense uh, but still showing the signature pretty uh, nicely there from all the earthquakes that struck this morning even up here uh around holmes hill showing that but uh Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty crazy there for a little bit. Um, and as I mentioned, most of these earthquakes here, probably below the 2.5 threshold, uh, looks to be around, uh, I'm guessing between 1.5 and probably 2.1 in the magnitude department here for quite a bit of these. Within the last hour, we have seen a little bit of uptick. Um, you know, seen a couple spikes here within the 1900 UTC time period within the last hour. Uh, but uh, things look like they're, they could be calming down. I don't know. S swarms like this tend to come and go. They kick up uh, out of the blue and they could last for months or they could last for just a short time period. But we will be keeping an eye on it. I do have a Yellowstone station pulled up on my seis uh, seismograph stations here. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. It's going to be uh, this one right here. Yellowstone around Canyon. This one was picking it up this morning. So that's the seismograph to watch. Uh, for current earthquake activity and live data coming in there to the uh, seismograph station. So uh, watching Yellowstone pretty closely, folks. We'll see what the USGS puts out uh, when it comes to the uh, magnitude and multitudes here. Uh, hopefully today, you never know. They may be on vacation until Monday. We'll see. Uh, 5.3 right around the Tonga area, Samoa. Pretty shallow earthquake, as I mentioned. Look at this earthquake here. Another 4.4 from uh, uh, earlier this morning, late last night, early this morning, it looks like a 4.4 uh, at 598 kilometers we've seen a swarm of deep movement here in the fiji area over the last couple days uh, resulting in some 6.0 earthquake activity around solomon islands also up here where we've seen that six point well it looks like they upgraded it, it was a 6.1 last night when i went to bed this morning it's a 6.2 so uh yeah that's where we've seen the uh, uh earthquake activity yesterday Kind of a little bit of pressure resulting from the deep movement along the Pacific Plate areas, kind of pushing towards the west. That has since seemed to hit a standstill at the moment here to the west. Uh, but watching the North American Plate here and the west coast area, looking at the all magnitudes here show continued quietness into the uh, Cascadia region northward into the state of Washington and Oregon. Uh, things uh, ramping up a little bit in the southern part of the state. Not seeing a full blast of movement yet. 
Uh, and by ramping up, I'm talking about the newer earthquakes here within the red circle, bouncing all over the place around the San Andreas Fault, uh, Long Valley Supervolcano, uh, around the Lone Pine area uh, with a 1.7 and some activity down here on the eastern side of the plate boundary of the southern section of the San Andreas Fault, the locked area uh, with a 1.9, 8.6 kilometers for that uh, little microquake there. Some movement around the Salton Sea area and also Mexicali and south of the border in the Gulf of California. Uh, all showing a little bit of heightened earthquake activity today, so we will keep an eye on it. Over here around the New Madrid area, some movement as well. We had one last night, uh, early this morning as well, a little bit of activity around that New Madrid area in Missouri. <clears throat> you can see the U.S. hazard m map indicating the hazard zone for the New Madrid zone. Right smack dab, those two earthquakes striking within that region. Uh, what else we got out here? Oklahoma kind of quiet, quieting down. Puerto Rico and uh, area southward uh, all kind of quiet still. Look at the South America region. Very quiet here with earthquake activity. Um, so we'll see uh, see what brings up here, folks. Just got to remember a lot of this deeper movement here. When we see deep earthquake activity like we've been seeing over the past uh, week or so within this region of Fiji, and in fact anywhere, Anywhere where you see deeper movement will be resulting in um, uh, potential shallower, larger earthquakes. It's always been it's always been like that. I've always seen deep earthquake activity uh, happen and then followed up by larger subsequent shallower earthquake activity. Um, at least the main percentage of the time, that seems to be the uh, the trend that takes place here with these deeper earthquakes. And um, what do we got here? This one here is pretty shallow. This uh, 5.7 south of Japan, 10 kilometers, pretty shallow earthquake activity. We've still been watching this region northward here from about Tokyo northward, this little trench here, the uh, Kamchatka Trench, Japan Trench, right around here northward is an area I've been watching for the past couple months. Uh, it's just been building up for quite a while. We've seen a lot of deep movement over here to the west. Uh, should be resulting in some further pressure here along the Japan Trench northward. Uh, a lot of deep earthquake activity around the Philippine Plate and the East China Sea as well within the last couple months. Uh, but so far we have not seen a resulting release of uh, a buildup of pressure here within this region. So kind of watching it, folks. We'll see how this plays out. But uh, for now, going to jump off here. We'll keep an eye on the Yellowstone uh, activity. It's... Uh, Kind of cool to watch. I was watching it a little bit this morning when it was coming in. But if you guys want to watch it, it's going to be this uh, station called Canyon, Yellowstone, Wyoming. Just south of the uh, Petrolia Station here. South, I should say, down below the Petrolia Station. This here in uh, Wyoming, of course. And right now, things look pretty calm at the moment on that Yellowstone Station. All right, folks, have a good day. Stay safe out there. It is Friday, and uh, we will chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.